Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another afternoon of Breaking Down the Word and uh, welcoming you guys right here to the Miracle Valley. And as usual, just um, really loving to have you and have you guys interact with us, communicate with us. Let us know where you're watching us from. Uh, let's hear more and more from you, and, and, and then we'll, we'll, we're going to know how best we can serve you. Scripture says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I'm excited uh, this afternoon to kind of just get back into the Word. My good friend, Pastor Benjamin Masuko, is here. He's, um, he's in the house, and one of my best friends, uh, just sharing and, and, and breaking down uh, the Word. And so, uh, uh, Benji, it's so good to have you and um, have you come over again. It seems like uh, this is a psalm that won't, you know, won't end, Psalm 91. <laughs> and as we get more and more into it, I also do want to say how much I, I appreciate you. And, uh, and many times uh, you have those friends that, who, are, who are always instant in and out of season, even through difficult seasons somehow you always find words of encouragement for one another and Amen. and i think you've been that kind of a person did you thank have a you. good week yes i did have a good week thank you very much thank you for having me and uh -huh. uh, i must say i'm honored to be here and to break down the word with you it's always uh, an honor and a pleasure when you connect with someone yeah. of like faith yeah. and jesus comes along because mm. he says where two or three are gathered in my name Absolutely. It's not every gathering that he shows up, oh. but there are some special gatherings where he shows up, and it's good to always recognize oh. those gatherings, those people that you can give a phone call, and immediately yeah. you begin to hear the voice of God. So yeah. thank you very much, Pastor George. And we normally have so many things to, to talk and share about. It seems like when we meet, yeah. um, there's a myriad of issues because we're always looking at life issues and issues connected to what's happening, politics. We, we talk a lot of politics and we, <laughs> <laughs> and we share a lot right yeah, now. Thank you. So much is happening in the country. And uh, I think you gotta really have the, you know, the right kind of perspective because otherwise you, you're gonna get into the flesh and there are different camps. I'm on this one and I'm on that one. And you, you're always wanting to come back to the, because the word gets us back to God's framework of thinking. I always want to think like God. Amen. After all is said and done, after I've been in motion, I've had my rants, and I've done, and, and, and I've given my opinion, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what flies <laughs> is what God says. Amen. So, Amen. so, so, so uh, could you speak to that maybe, maybe a little bit of, you know, perhaps what's happening politically and, and the shifts and, uh, and what's changing. What, what kind of attitude do you, do you employ to, to ride the storms that we're in right now? Like you said earlier on, it's always good to have the mind of Christ. Mm. The scripture says, who has known the mind of Christ mm. that he may instruct him? And it's interesting because it says, but we have the mind of Christ. Yeah. And earlier on at that we particular portion in yeah. Second Corinthians, yeah. it's Second Corinthians you're calling out of, it says, no eye has seen, no ears had, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The things that God, God has revealed to <laughs> and that's like a past tense, eh? Yes, so yes. he has already done He that. has revealed. Mm -hmm. And the word revealed there is the word apocrypto in Greek. Hey, you're my <laughs> and Ephesians 1, I want us to see something interesting here. Because a lot of times we take opinions, we fight. But I realize that whenever we come back to ask God, okay, reveal to oh, us your good. mind. That's good. Then we can align ourselves with God. Mm. And we can actually up, uh, appropriate his will in our prayers. Yeah. Because <laughs> many times we are praying outside of his will. Yes, yes. We are praying because our flesh wants yeah, something. Yeah. Because our tribal sentiments want mm, something. Mm. Your name betrays you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and look at this. He said, 
I pray without ceasing. This was Paul praying to the Ephesians, yeah. tell, telling the Ephesians what he, he did. He said, ever since I heard of your faith in Christ mm. Jesus, Thank you, Lord. we have not stopped praying. Yeah. Ephesians 1, 16, 17 and all once. Yeah. We have stopped praying that the Lord of our Father Jesus Christ yeah. may give you the spirit, the spirit of, of wisdom, wisdom and revelation. And, and revelation. Mm. He say he may give you the spirit of Sophia mm. and apocrypto. Yeah. Now the word apocrypto means this. It means to unveil. It means to reveal. Oh, that that is good. That is so good there. That is <laughs> just stay there. Just stay right yeah. there. So, so the revelation, the aspect, in fact, in the Hebrew, it's the aspect of unveiling exactly. something. The thing was always there. It was always there. But there is a spirit that reveals it. Wow. In other words, in the mind of Christ, mm. he knows what is best for this country. Mm. He knows who are the leaders that are supposed to take us forward. Mm. And I want to say this because we're in a very strange season. You're going to see, begin to see in this world, not just our country, mm. leaders that will be brought up suddenly. The scripture says, mm. and Joseph was brought up hastily. Mm. Mm. He wasn't a known mm. person. Mm. And that's why we've been talking about a new order, order of, of kings. kings. People are talking way, about a world, mm. new world order, but I want to talk about by a new way, Benjamin, order. Yeah. Uh, as, you, as you're there, and I'm sorry for cutting your flow, but a lot of people have been writing and saying, let's, could we get a little bit more into understanding what is this new order, new, new order of kings? What, is, what, what do you mean when you say new order of kings? You see, there is an expected person that is expected to take over our politics, for example. <laughs> And I want to disappoint a lot of people that are looking at the people that I expected. Because when we go into the Spirit of God, yeah. we realize there are people that have been covered yeah. that will be suddenly brought, yeah. Yeah. hastily brought out. David was that kind of order. Joseph was that kind of mm -hmm. order. And why are we saying it's a new order? Because we have come to a time when God has shifted the times and the seasons. Yeah. Daniel 2.20, it says God changes the times and season. It puts yeah. a semicolon there yeah. and says he removes kings. Mm. So God is removing kings, mm. not just from the political scene, mm. but also from the business world. Yeah. He's also removing people also from spiritual frontiers Very and good. bringing new Very other good. people that you had Very not good. heard of. Elijah thought he was the only one. Mm. Mm. And God said, so I've got 7,000. Think about it. Elijah, who is a seer, couldn't see the ones that wow. have been preserved for such a time. Wow. So Paul says, I pray that you may be given yeah. this spirit of wisdom, wisdom and, revelation. and revelation, the spirit of uncovering. Mm. Think about that. Isn't that powerful? It's very powerful. That in this day, yeah. when the, the scripture says, and the earth shall be covered by darkness. And people, gross darkness. You know what I've been <laughs> saying all along, Benji? This yeah. is what I've been saying all along. That some of the greatest businesses and advances will be made during this, these times. These times of uncertainty, these times of, uh, uh, these times uh, where, where people don't, we don't even understand what, what is it going to be like tomorrow? I mean, yeah. look, you're looking at a situation where, um, like I was, I was musing this morning and I was thinking, my God, I miss even going to weddings. Mm. I miss, uh, well, you know, uh, what, what's up with that? We, we, we <laughs> the yeah. wedding songs, yeah. the wedding songs are not being sung anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's been such a major disruption in the world that uh, the things we, 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 uh, we use to, um, what do you call, uh, what, what do you call, uh, the Got things we use to, to um, create, the, uh, we, 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 we used to comfort ourselves yes. and to encourage ourselves and to, uh, to, the things we look forward to experiencing, those things are not there. Yeah. Those things are not there. And it's good to, to again ask ourselves what is going on. Mm. Because you see, when that disruption takes place, yeah. a lot of times, People look at the things that are going on and feel 
to see Very beyond good. the Very darkness. Good. In Very other good. words, we're not engaging with that spirit that yeah. uncovers yeah. to see what is going on. Think about it this way, Pastor George. Mm. During the time of Moses, mm. a pharaoh arose that began yeah. to cause the children of Israel yeah. to be thrown into the water. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah. During the time of Jesus, there was a herald that subjected yeah. all the new young babies mm. also be killed. Mm. See, to a lot of people, mm. they might have just been wondering, but why, 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 why? Yeah. But to Joseph, for example, yeah. an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream and told him to go to Egypt. So he understood that this whole mess up this that is, is so going good. on here that is, so good. is because of this young one. Mm. All right? Now, Acts 7, 17, it says, when the time of God to fulfill his promises mm. to the children of Israel. Drew near. Yeah. There arose another king that knew not Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. And he began to do all these things. Yeah. So all that mess up that was going on, all the corona, the disruption, yeah. 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 is coming because there is an unveiling of the promises of God. There is a restitution. The scripture says whom Jesus mm. Must be kept in heaven must until retain, the restitution yeah. of all things of all things spoken up by of the prophet. every prophecy. Mm. And I want to mm. say this: we've come to that time that prophecies won't take long to be fulfilled. We've so come to that season wow. of compression of time, wow. a quick fulfillment of prophecies. Mm. You begin to see earthquakes. You mm. begin to see famines. You begin I to have. see wars, rumors of wars. Everything coming together. I had one of my fathers, Rennie McLean. I had, this is how he put it. He said, "Eternity is rubbing onto time." Wow. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> the closer we get towards eternity, yes, the more of what's up there, yeah, begins to transpire down here. Wow, wow. So wow. some of the things, like yeah. you're saying, days shortened. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. 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 That's literal. I mean. Like what you experience, you could experience like an entire season in one day. Mm. Yeah, you could, you could. Uh, when God decides to favor, uh, when when the favor of God and, and that word favor is to in the Hebrew to lean over one who is knowingly inferior. Mm. You know wow. that you can't do it. That's powerful. But you know it's God doing it. He's leaning over you because you recognize the fact that you are inferior. In fact. <laughs> Just hold it there, you know. Let me throw it back to you because you're used to telling me to hold it there. <laughs> but <laughs> it's interesting you talked about it because this yeah. morning I was awakened yeah. in, a, in, a, in an interesting Hallelujah. dream. And I was discussing with someone, a Christian, yeah. about a powerful businessman that is a Christian. Yeah. And as we were discussing, we began to talk about the favor of God. Because one person was saying, we're going to work so hard. Mm. Then the other person began to say, no, 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 no. You know, this thing is not just about hard work. Mm. And immediately as I awakened and began to ponder on the, work, the word of God. I love it. Because many years ago, the Lord showed me something. And I want to tie it to the favor that you're mm. talking about. Mm. The Lord began to reveal to me mm. that in instances when I had unusual favor, in business, I remember that. there were angels just operating with me. Wow! And I wondered, Lord, is that true? And He told me, No, I've already given you an angel that goes with you throughout. And some mm. people might doubt and say, But how is that? Yeah. And let me show you something. Mm. The scripture says, Psalms chapter five and verse twelve, mm. and we're tying into the favor yeah. of the Lord, and yeah. we want to see how yeah. Yeah. that favor yeah. favor is not just someone giving you money. Mm. It's deeper than that. Psalms 5.12 says, mm. The Lord shall encompass you mm. with, favor with favor as a shield. Mm. So the shield of God there is favor. But Lord. Psalms 34.7 says what? Mm. The angel of the Lord encompasses around, around, around them that fear him, fear him and delivers them. them. <laughs> so in one side, you see it's favor surrounding. Yeah. Another place, you see it's, it's the angels yeah, it's surrounding. Yeah, yeah. So I believe and I strongly believe that angels of God cause immense favor to work on people. Wow. So that the work that you're doing, mm -hmm. Pastor Joe, let me tell you, it's the favor of God when somebody wakes up in the morning and just feels, no, I need to sow 
six million bob. Yeah. And for the sake of our congregants in Australia, yeah. in yeah. Italy, yeah. in Russia, in Ukraine, <laughs> in Kyrgyzstan. In India, we got a whole bunch of people in India. <laughs> yeah, that is ap approximately $60,000. Yeah. Is it's God's favor yeah. when people just wake up and feel, yeah. I've got to give yeah. 60000 to this ministry. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, it's favor. Yeah. When people just decide, no, I'm giving mm. everything that I have, mm. it's the favor of the mm. Lord. It's mm. the angles of the Lord moving and causing certain things you, to happen. I hear you. When, when, when you come into this place and you strike a good deal to mm. purchase this to land purchase that the Lord the land, has yeah. shown you, mm. And it's tar it's tied up in the hearts of the people selling yeah. to give you an incredible deal. Yeah. It's the favor of God. Yeah. But you know what? There are angels that They're are working with you. Yeah. Yeah. They have surrounded you, and they are causing things to work mm. to your favor. Yeah. They will cause those people to sign the papers, yeah. and they will cause someone else to give the money. Yeah. It's the favor of God when you start a business, mm. and somebody that you didn't know decides, I want to buy that product. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> That's why I say favor I is not just somebody giving you money. Yeah. Favor is the convergence mm. of events working positively mm. and you're towards your aid yeah. to get to a certain destination. Yeah. It's favor yeah. that comes to that Absolutely. occasion. And I believe it's the angles of the Lord yeah. that are given to us. Listen to this. Psalms. Chapter 8, towards the end. Let me read it because I, I, we just want to tie that the favor of the Lord is yeah. related to the angels of the Lord. Because Absolutely. sometimes people say it's favor, yeah. it's favor. Yeah. But I've begun to see in the scripture, it's related to the mm. angels of the Lord. It says, for whoso findeth me in, okay, verse 34, it says, blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates. Mm. Man, you've got to understand what are the gates. Yeah. <laughs> of the Lord. Jacob yeah. was at a place, yeah. he dreamt, he lifted up his head, and I believe that's a, a sign of meditation. And mm. in the night, he saw a ladder connecting to heaven, heaven and angels yeah. ascending and, and descending. descending. Mm. And he woke up and said, oh, this is the gate. None other than the gate, gate of heaven. Of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that meditation yeah. leads us it's to the so gate yeah. of heaven, the gate of the spirit realm. Mm. Listen, it says, Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and obtains favor From of the Lord. Lord. Mm. Another version says, whoso findeth me, it's like he finds streams of living water, mm. <laughs> and obtains wow. favor. Wow. Now listen to that. He finds streams of living water. That man that meditates mm. on the word of the Lord, mm. day and night, mm. it shall be like the tree that is planted mm. by streams of water. of water. You know what happens at that place when you connect to that? Mm. The favor of the Lord. You find him and you find yeah. favor. Yeah. I'm telling you, there is something angelic about yeah. favor. Yeah. It's not a simple, nice look that gets mm. people just to like you. Mm. There is something that happens in the spirit realm mm. that causes a convergence mm. of so many so things to come so together so that you get to your destination. Second Peter chapter 1, according as his divine power mm. has given unto us everything, everything. that pertains to <laughs> life and godliness through the knowledge of through the knowledge, knowledge. Wow. of him wow. so wow. so it, it comes through knowledge it, it, it's it, it's connect it's a favor yes that's hooked up to something that's already transpired that you don't know about <sighs> that god has paid for mm. everything so when <laughs> anytime we engage the gear of favor it's yeah. always connected to what he did what is it that is uh, what is it about your life that is settled and then hooking it up with the promises of God. Hey, you know, because God does not just speak arbitrarily. He That's doesn't true. just say, you know, you know, when the psalmist says, I will say of the Lord, mm. he's saying what he, he's speaking in relation to the terms of the covenant. Because mm. you've got to engage the covenant for yeah. you to hook up with provision. 
I mean, Glory it's already done. You know, if, if I don't engage the covenant, mm. yeah. But the, his divine power has already, he says, it has given unto us, us everything. Everything. So it's not coming. It's not an alien thing. Yeah. It's not coming from an external source. Yeah. It's something that's already transpired. It's everything. in the covenant. It's settled. Wherefore have we been given such great and precious promises, promises. that by these you may partake of his divine nature. Think mm. about it. Mm. In this season, mm. when there is disease, yeah. when there is destruction of yeah. businesses, yeah. destruction of relationships, mm. families, mm. we can partake of his divine nature yeah. Yeah. and escape yeah. Yeah. the corruption that is in this world mm. through lust. The word lust there means mm. pressure. Yeah. There is a yeah. corruption. The corruption yeah. is talking about degradation. It's talking about lowering of standards, lowering of things. It's like the way a car is beaten by a rust wow. and slowly begins corruption. to... Corruption, wow. Yeah. Can, can you hold your thought there? Because I, I want us to come back. Hey, we're going to come back and address this again. Maybe corruption, not just, not just in, the, in the country, but also corruption within. Mm. Because sometimes we... Uh, you know, we look to the outside. Uh, it's so easy to criticize what, what you think is going off out there and, and not judge yourself. The Bible says judgment must begin in the house of God. Wow. And if I judge myself, God doesn't have to judge me. If I'm going to allow God's word to judge me, how many of you know it, it, the, the word, uh, Benjamin, it, yes. it's a designer and it's a revealer of the intentions of the heart. Mm. So if wow, I can wow. allow the word, which is a mirror, yes. to paint a picture of who I am, then I can judge myself before God gets to judge me. Amen. It's, it's, it's an amazing new day. We're talking about the favor of God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Can't wait to get back. Uh, uh, I can't, can't wait to get back to this. Joshua, he, uh, who the sun sets free, it's free indeed. It's free indeed. Amen, amen. What do you think about that? What do you think about favor, Josh? It's amazing, the, 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 the power of favor. You always say this, that favor is unfair. No, Sometimes it is. Sometimes favor will remove you from a place where you put yourself. Yeah, it's not fair. It's just, I mean, when people look at you and they wonder, how did you get that? And, and, and what is it? But it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Hmm. I like the way uh, Romans 8 puts it. It says, now through Christ we have undeserved privileges mm. and I, that's one of my favorite scriptures that Love I can it. expect God to be good to me um, regardless just because he is who he is ah, amen ah, ah. we want to sing this um, who the sun sets free is free indeed amen who am I that the highest king would slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Whom the sun sets free, oh, he's free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I has ransomed me his grace runs deep while I was a slave to sin Jesus died for me yes he died for me whom the sun sets free oh he's free child of God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes I am. Oh, that was so good, Wanja and Joshua. So good. 
and welcome to the Miracle Valley and uh, welcome back. I am having this uh, conversation on the favor of God. And as we look at that, uh, just the whole emphasis of always getting back into the word, allowing God's word to be the basis upon which we, uh, we relate not just with people, but we engage with God. Remember, whenever we come before the presence of God, He, he wants to hear His words. <laughs> he wants to hear what you will say about what He has said. Hmm. Because that's the warfare. You do, uh, and Scripture does say you do a good warfare with the prophecy spoken over your life. But how many of you know the sure word of prophecy is the word? It's wow. the word. You, you, stick, you stay with the word, bless the Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. Benjamin, when it, uh, in the book of Genesis, it says every seed will reproduce after, after its, its own, own kind. kind. And then it says this, whose seed is in itself. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, in order for God, in order for God to bless you, yes. you've got to first of all believe his word, mm. and his word is a seed. Yes. In Mark, wow, in, wow, in Mark wow. chapter number 4, he say, Jesus says, well, the guy who sows the seed, the seed is the word of God. Mm. The seed is the word of God. But, yeah. it, but, but, but what are you going to do with the word that God has given you? Mm. Are you, uh, because those who say they can and those who say they can't are both right. Jesus put it this way, you're going to be judged for every idle word you speak. Yeah. So in essence, there is no word that you ever speak that ever that is ever dormant mm. or, or, or that has no effect. Yeah. In fact, those words, they hang in abeyance. Some mm. words that are spoken over by a parent, mm. by a, a father or a mother, will hang, they will hang in abeyance in another season wow. and they will begin to work against the guy's seed. Yes, <coughs> yes. And the yes. father who says, um, you see, this is exactly what I'm, I said it would happen. Of mm. course, you said it would happen. That's why it's happened. I told you this would happen. No, yeah. no, no. You don't have to keep declaring what you know will happen. Mm. Uh, just change the conversation in your home. Uh, interesting, Benjamin, how, how this, um, this time of, uh, this, this season of uh, people being at home, a lot of domestic violence has uh, has risen up you know mm. and and because uh, w when you get into close proximity with people then then the real people begin to show up yeah. maybe you begin to speak words out of emotion more uh, more than more than truth mm. uh, what is it that is true about your family say what is true about your Amen. family don't speak what is factual don't talk about what you don't have I know you're going through a difficult time, but he told Jeremiah, don't say I'm a young person. Don't <laughs> say I'm only a child. Don't yes, I know yes. you're a child. I know that's what you are right mm. now. But don't, don't verbalize it. Don't give it power. Yeah. Because words amplify and they give power to, to, to present circumstance. So, 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 so Benjamin, as we, as we talk about the favor of God, I, I feel like one of the things that's, that, that's most prudent is understanding the significance of, of what we are saying, the conversation we are constantly having. Absolutely. Absolutely. The scripture says in Hebrews uh, mm -hmm. 1, 3. Yeah. It, uh, no, 11, 3. Sorry. 11, 3, yeah. The worlds. By faith we understand mm -hmm. that the worlds were framed from the word of God. From the word of God. Yeah. So that the things that are seen <coughs> were created by things that are not seen yeah. it doesn't mean that the things that are seen were created by things that don't exist no, no. it just means that our words are maybe unseen but they cause yeah. things to be framed in other words the constants of our words mm -hmm. and in this particular season very important thing that we must do like you say keep calling things that are not as though so they, they were. were why because Every day we are flooded with words through yeah. social media, yeah. through uh, televisions, through uh, news media. Every day we are flooded with words that yeah. are telling us things are going to get bad, mm. things that are going to get bad, mm. things are going to get worse. And you know what? It's factual. We are living in Isaiah 60. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness, darkness. the people. But upon us, mm. upon us, 
Those are our words. I am not of the part of darkness. I am not of the part of gross darkness, but upon us. The Lord shall arise. And you know what? I began to realize that kings are going to come to us because when they see us, they'll see the Lord. See, the Lord is arising. Kings shall come to us because of our light. How is our light going to be seen? Through our words. In him was life. And that life was the light of men. <laughs> and that light shines in darkness. Yeah. Our words yeah. will convert the darkness yeah. that we face yeah. until it will no longer exist so around us. Psalm 91 says, I will say of the Lord, and the process of saying yes. is, is, is the meditating. Exactly. That, that, that thing of quietly the conversation you see you are speaking on the inside yes yes <laughs> that's why it says don't let this book of the lord depart from your mouth your mouth why because whatever is in your mouth you will meditate on yeah 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 but meditate on it day yeah. and, and night. night in other words if you keep constantly mm. in your words mm. in your mouth mm. the dark world dark world bad economy i'm broke i'm yeah, broke yeah. you will meditate on it yeah. and you know as you meditate, as a man thinketh Think in, his, in heart, his heart, so is he. So is he. Mm. That's why somewhere else it says, if you have looked at a woman lustfully, mm. Mm. <laughs> you've already done it. Why? Mm. Because at that particular time, it has gotten into your heart. That's right. So it's only a matter of time. Right. So why don't my we God. change what is in our heart? My God. My God. Because if we can change what is in our heart, wow. We can change our world. Our good man shall bring out of the out good of the treasure, treasure of his, of his heart. heart. He brings forth. <laughs> he brings forth. Yeah. Yeah. If we can yeah. change yeah. what is in our heart, yeah. we can change our environment. Jesus says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth, the speaks. mouth speaks. So we only speak of the conversation that is taking place within the heart. And yet, if you want to change what's in your heart, you begin by changing the words that are in your mouth. Absolutely. Because what say that the word is near mm. you, it's in How your mouth. Like and then it says, and then it's in your heart. Yes. So it gets into your mouth before it gets into your heart. Yes. It ge you speak it <laughs> before you believe it. I even say it. <laughs> Don't say in your heart, who shall ascend to heaven? Yeah. In other words, your words mm. are the hand that brings those God. things that are already God, yeah. created. Yeah. I have blessed you with every yeah. spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. I love it. Your word is the hand to put it down here mm. and plant it on the earth. That's, that's, Romans, ten, uh, that's Romans 10, 6. Romans 10, 10, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it says. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it says, um, but the righteousness which is it's of faith, faith speaks <laughs> this way. So yes. there's a way when you're properly positioned in Christ, yes. there's a way you speak. Absolutely. And you don't say, you don't say who will ascend to heaven. Yeah. Who will bring down? No, you're yeah. not complaining. You're not saying God hasn't done it. God, you're not praying for people to do it. And, and here's the tragedy, uh, Benjamin. A lot of people think the more people who are praying for you, the more it will happen. <laughs> but you could, you could have a whole concert of people, a whole nation of people praying in unbelief. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing you've said that because uh, initially uh, a prophet of God had told me, People are telling me, pray. This, this was two months ago mm. before things began to start trolling out here in Africa and yeah. Kenya, yeah. two, three months. It says, a lot of people are calling me and they're saying, pray that this corona doesn't come to, yeah. to Africa, it doesn't come to Kenya. Yeah. And one of the things that I've had people praying is, uh -huh. pray that it stops now. Yeah. But Jesus said, before I come, these things must mm. come. Then he also said, but pray yeah. always that you may escape. Yeah. So, the prayer I that we must that. pray mm. is to take the promises of God mm. wherefore yeah. we shall escape the corruption that is yeah, in the earth. Yeah. The corruption is in the earth. But the promises of God are the ones that we are I praying yes. so that we escape. You know? The fowler that has come. Deep. Psalms 91.3. Mm. He shall save you from the fowler's snare. Yeah. There is a snare initiated by Corona. Mm. 
as near to attack people's health, yeah. to kill them, and to cause destruction yeah. of businesses and homes. Yeah. But he says, he shall save you from the foul as near. Mm. How? By the promises of God. You put them in your mouth. Mm. We shall, by which we shall escape. Yeah. Jesus said, pray consistently. Pray yeah. always. Why? Because revelation comes yeah. as you pray, and you find the promises via which mm. you escape. Kept because mm. these things must come, mm. but fear not. Mm. <laughs> that was yeah. his instruction. Yeah. He didn't say, when you begin to see them, yeah. pray that they stop. He didn't say, pray that they yeah. don't come. Yeah. It says, they must yeah. come. Yeah. In other words, it's a guarantee. To, to the man that is ahead of his day, this day is no surprise. So in essence, yeah. the guy who's, the guy who's, in this day, yes. it's a joy. It's a joy. Because number one, God, th there's so many things, first of all, God is judging during these times. And yes. I'm not saying, because the Bible says in everything you give thanks, because this is the will of God yeah. in Christ Jesus. Let the word of God abide inside you richly. Yeah. Let, 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 uh, uh, Colossians 3.16, let, yeah. let, let, let word be so rich inside yes, you yes, that yes, you're so able to wow. discern, you know, discerning moments, Shakala discerning Prosta seasons, Calambrisa. being able to pick out and to know, my God, mm. that you could be in the midst of hell. If David says, even if, he said, David says, where shall I run from your presence? Even <laughs> if I make my bed <laughs> in, in hell. hell. I'm going to find myself uh, wow. worshiping God in hell. I'm going to find myself worshiping God in what my, my the, I have a question as God judges corruption because hi I'm, I'm clearly Benji God is judging corruption. Suddenly the billions that could be stolen you can only steal millions. <laughs> 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 think about yeah, it. Think yeah. about it. Think in fact, about it. In fact, as you say that, it's it, it's important that we say this. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people sometimes don't understand what is happening, mm. and that's why we say, may our eyes be opened. Mm. May the Lord give us the spirit of wisdom mm. and revelation, the spirit of Sophia and Apocrypto, mm. to uncover things wow. so that you see what's happening. And this is what I'm going to say. Wow. Isaiah 60. It says. Darkness shall cover the earth. Mm. That means it's ignorance. Mm. It's chaos. Mm. But the next scripture there says, mm. and gross darkness, the, the people. people. That word gross darkness there originates from the same Hebrew word mm. that was there when the Lord stepped on the mountain yeah. and there was a darkness that came and people say, oh, mm. stop, no more, no more. Why? Because judgment was beginning mm. to creep in. It's the Lord beginning wow. to step in. So it's a judgment yeah, on the people. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah. It, why? Because what we are facing right now, make no mistake, the same way there are portals that are open favor, mm -hmm. there are also portals that open plagues. We are facing a plague. Yeah. Plagues are opened by evil portals. Yeah. First Corinthians 10, it says, plagues came to these guys yeah. because of sexual immorality. Yeah because of lusts, mm. because of idolatry. Sure. There are things that have opened up. Yeah evil spirits yeah. to come and begin yeah. to attack people. Yeah. And people may say, oh, it, it, it's a virus, mm. it's not evil spirits. Yes, it's a virus. Mm. But you know what? Mm. There are things that cause viruses also yeah. to be propagated with ease. That's, That's why we are using Psalms 91 as our shield. Mm. Listen, Revelation chapter, I just want to read this because sure. sometimes guys say, oh, you know, these guys are spiritualizing everything. Of course, everything is spiritual. Yeah. Where do you think the art came from? Mm. It came from God, who is a spirit. Mm. Everything is spiritual. Mm. Where do you think brokenness, poverty, disease came from? It's a spirit. From the devil. Yeah. Who is a spirit? Yeah. Jesus came that we may have life. And have it more abundantly. abundantly. <laughs> but the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. destroy. Yeah. Those are his agents. Mm. And how does he do it? Through disease, through mm. poverty, through wars. Listen to this. Revelation chapter 6. Because mm. I want to show you that we are living in, in an era mm. of heightened spiritual activity. Yes. Goodness. And if you could only understand, then you could begin to draw into yes. that secret place more and more. Yes. Because we have never been at such a place where there's so much mm. spiritual activity mm. happening. Mm. Listen, mm. Mm. it says, uh, mm. uh, 
verse number seven. It says, when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. Yeah. And I looked and behold, a pale horse. Mm. His name that sat on him was death. Mm. And hell followed him. And, the, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to mm. kill with sword, with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Listen. It says, he that sat on the horse was called death. Mm. And hell. Mm. That word death there is also from a Greek word that means plague. In the Strong's, it's yeah. 25 or 5. Yeah. <laughs> it also means plague. So he was given power over the fourth, over the fourth of the earth to kill them with sword, mm. with hunger, mm. with plague, mm. and with the beasts of the earth. Mm. The word beasts of the earth there means venomous creatures. Wow. You know venomous creatures are which ones? They are yeah. scorpions, yeah. they are serpents. Yeah. Behold, I have given mm. you power mm. to trample over serpents and scorpions, scorpions. over all the and power of the enemy. nothing shall by any means Wild beasts are representations mm. of serpents, of scorpions, mm. of yeah. things that the enemy uses. So when you begin to see plague, let me tell you, these are evil spirits that have been unleashed and they operate with famine also. Mm. They operate mm. with sword. That means they operate with wars also. Mm. They operate with venomous creatures. That means they operate with spiritual chaos where you see activities and you know these are evil activities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the scripture says, he shall deliver you from the foulest snare, mm. this is verse number three of Psalms 91. Yeah. He shall deliver you from the foulest snare mm. and from the noisome pestilence. Mm. He shall deliver you from the traps of the enemy mm. <laughs> and he shall deliver you yeah. from the plague. Yeah. Who is causing this foul snare? Mm. The enemy, your devil, the mm. den sorry, the, the devil who is our enemy, yeah. moves around yeah. like a roaring, roaring lion, lion seeking, seeking whom, whom he, he may devour. He is the hunter. Mm. Whom Another, resist? It, whom resist? It goes on to yes. say, whom resist steadfast. Yes. In faith. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 uh, he, here's the deal. We can resist him. Yes. James 4, 7 says, resist the devil. Yes. He says, first of all, he says, submit yourselves therefore to God. And then he says, resist the devil and he will flee mm. from you. So we have the capacity, we have the power, we have the ability, we have, been, we have been empowered to resist the devil. You can say no to the devil. And that's the good news. That's the gospel. He says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first and then to the Gentile, for therein is a righteousness of God revealed, revealed from faith to faith. Here's the deal. The more you resist the devil, the more you get mm. appetite to resist him more. Prasco. The more you resist the devil, the more he flees. The, mm. more, you the, mo the more you say no, yes. the more he begins to realize, wow, you know something, you know something that others don't know. And, and, he and here's the deal. Here's mm. the deal. He can't stand it when you know the word. Mm. Timothy says you study to show yourself approved unto God. That workman that does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But we study to present ourselves to God mm. so that when we are in warfare, in spiritual warfare, we don't have to be ashamed. You mm. know the devil will flee when you say flee. You, you, when you resist it, you, you know the devil will flee because you know yourself. You know the terms of the, co uh, of the covenant. You know, you know the terms of the contract. You know you have a covenant. You know you have rights, bless the Lord. Mm. Now as we close Psalm 91, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. And then verse 3 in the New King James says, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Yeah, mm. you're, being, you're going to be delivered from the snare of the fowler. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and from the perilous pestilence. pestilence. I don't care what it is. Some of you guys, your businesses are, are under some serious attack. Mm. But you can resist the devil. 
Because that's a promise that's been given to us. And then verse 4 says, He shall cover you with his feathers, mm. and under his wings you shall take refuge. Could you imagine that you are under the wings of your father, mm. and nothing shall by any means harm you? Yes. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. buckler. I wow, love that. Wow, wow. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night. No, 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 no. No fear is not your potion. Nor the arrow that mm, flies by, by day, day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at, at noonday. Noon I want to say this, that there's good news. And the good news is you are not to fear. Fear yes. is never, 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 never your portion. Wherever mm. you are right now, all over the world, as our broadcast is going all over the world, I want you to resist the devil mm. and he will flee from you. I want you to decide that you will not be afraid. Amen. For the wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous, they are bold. They are bold as a lion. There is boldness coming your way as long as you are speaking the words of God. Psalm says, I will say of the Lord. My question to you is, what is it you are saying about the Lord? Mm -hmm. What are you decreeing? Because whatever you are decreeing is what you are getting, bless the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we will be judged for every idle word that we speak. And there is no word that we ever speak that doesn't come into fruition. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love the tongue shall eat the fruit thereof. Mm -hmm. This is George Matthew saying it's been a, an amazing afternoon hanging out with you and just breaking the word with you. It's a new day in your life. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid of the pestilences mm -hmm. and don't be afraid of what, of what the enemy is unleashing. This is the best of what he can do, mm -hmm. but we can resist him. Mm -hmm. We have a covenant. We fight with the word. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm. but they are mighty in God to so the pulling down of strongholds. There are strongholds that are coming down. Strongholds even in this nation that are coming down. Strongholds over, over things even related to, uh, to corruption that are coming down. Mm. Corruption in companies and, and in homes. Even in churches, corruption. Mm. God, is ju God is judging. And you don't, be af you, you don't have mm. to be afraid when, when God is in control. He's in control of your mm. life. Take a walk. Go and see how good God is. Mm. Remind yourself of the goodness of God. Mm. Speak the word of God over your life. Command yourself. Why so downcast, O oh my soul? Amen. Put your hope in God. Command your suke, your soulish man, to trust in God. He says, you shall trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways. Mm. Acknowledge him. And he promises to guide you. God bless you. I love you. We will see you next week. God bless you. God bless you. Mwah. <laughs> God bless you. Glory to God. Shima na sifa zote Ewe mungu umetuguka Ehi twakupa Heshima na sifa zote